Hey, I'm Mike. I'm a technician over here at Sun Dog Cat Move Vet Clinic. And as you all know, we do have a new doctor working here. Her name is Kelly Horton. She was a graduate at Clemson University, went to vet school in Mississippi, and got certified to do acupuncture at the Chi Institute in Florida. She's been doing acupuncture for about four years on large and small animals. And today, she's going to be doing some acupuncture on Cutie Pie, who's got some arthritis issues. This is Cutie Pie's second treatment, so y'all take a look. Well, we are back here with Cutie Pie, and as I said, she is on her second acupuncture treatment. Cutie Pie has some arthritis down her back. Um, so one of the questions I get a lot, Dr. Horton, is um, what exactly is acupuncture? Well, acupuncture is really when you can stimulate a specific point on the body to get a specific reaction. So a lot of times people get very overwhelmed when we start talking about meridians and chi and yin and yang and just the whole Chinese medicine aspect in general. So today I really want to concentrate on the neurological benefits of acupuncture. And I heard you say point, so what exactly is a point? A point, if you look at the meridians of Chinese medicine, okay. the point <laughs> is um, really traces the peripheral nervous system. And at that point, you're going to have a lot of nerve endings, vasculature. You can create um, local pain relief. You can block pain receptors to the spinal column. You can give them an endorphin release uh, in the central nervous system. So really, you can, can modulate the immune or kind of uh, have the body treat itself. Okay, and so a lot of clients, I think they think of like, oh, a needle's going into my dog or something like that. Does it hurt initially or? No, and these are very um, hypodermic needles. They're really tiny. Most dogs, as you can see, I just put in GD20, which is a calming point. Most dogs have no idea that, that they're even in. And a lot of the needles will come in different sizes and you can see, you know, what what works best for them. So since you mentioned, um, this is Cutie Pie's second treatment mm -hmm. and she is, is weak in the hind end. Yeah. So I'm gonna scoot you over. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be treating a lot of points in the back end. And we'll, that's um, Bowway, which is another endorphin releasing point and also helps with, with inflammation in that area. And how many treatments do you you think is necessary? Does it depend on the dog or depend on the patient? It depends on the patient and it depends on what you're treating. Mm -hmm. Most acute um, injuries will need to be treated more aggressively and by aggressive I mean you would have acupuncture three times a week or you would have it you know every other day. If you have a chronic injury you can still <laughs> <laughs> you can still treat them that way, uh, they're just not going to respond as fast as an, an acute injury would. Mm -hmm. And I always tell clients, you can't reverse any damage that's done. So if you have a really arthritic dog who has bone damage, then you can't, I can't take away bone. So acupuncture is not magic. You can't take away things that are already there and damaging to the body. But what you can do is give them pain relief. Mm -hmm. You can help decrease inflammation in that area. And our, our goal is to get them off of medications, mm -hmm. to get them off of NSAIDs, which can cause kidney failure over long-term use, but not compromise their pain. So we want to get them off of medications that still give them the pain relief to where they're comfortable. Okay. And so what are the expectations I should have of QV Pie or any patient, really? And, it, and that always, too, depends on the patient and what you're treating. Ideally, I would tell you, you should, you know, some people can see improvement after the first treatment. Some animals, it's going to take, you know, three to four treatments to really see significant improvement. And it depends on, you know, also what you're doing at home. Are you doing herb therapy in addition to acupuncture? Are you doing laser therapy? Are you doing physical therapy at home, massage therapy? So it always depends on the patient, the additional treatment that they're getting done. But you can see response um, to therapy within after the first treatment, mm -hmm. but definitely after you know the third or fourth treatment. Right. So, like, so Cutie Pie just reacted a little bit. Was there mm -hmm. a spot that you hit and specifically, specifically that made her? 
Yeah, so there are things called trigger yeah. points. And with a trigger point, I like to relate it more towards like muscle spasms throughout the body. A lot of patients who have arthritis or are neurologic, they will tend to have muscle spasms in certain areas, and that is a trigger point. Mm -hmm. And you notice that she's a little uncomfortable yeah. right now, <laughs> which is normal because I've just hit two trigger points That's down her back end where she's the most painful. Because animals will carry themselves differently, they'll contract, they have arthritis, and they'll create those spasms. And that's when I'll go into those trigger points. If it's too much for them, normally they calm down after they've been stimulated for a little bit. If it is too much for them and they are a little wiggly, then I just take take those trigger points out and then they calm down. Mm -hmm. Can you pass? And each point, um, just like we said before, and you can notice that she's bleeding a little bit from that point, that's normal and that's even uh, a good thing because it helps to, um, you vasodilated that area and also promotes healing. And so that tells me that in the Chinese world, you're removing stagnation. In uh, traditional medicine, you're, um, you're creating blood flow to that area, which promotes healing. Um, so what exactly is this? This is looking a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually an electrical unit. And if you have an animal that is down in the back end, they're neurologic, they have narrowing disc, or they have you know lumbosacral disease, a lot of German shepherds that they have trouble getting up, older labs, what I'll do is we'll put our acupuncture needles in and then we'll connect it to the electrical unit and that will give me stimulation, a continual stimulation over a period of time. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I put it at 20 hertz uh, frequency and I let them stay hooked up for about 15 minutes and that will help me to stimulate that point uh, continuously as opposed to just putting a needle in and stimulating it um, for you know a couple of seconds and then taking it out. Um, so I see a lot more uh, response to therapy when I use an electrical unit if it's more of a, a chronic debilitating disease and I will use uh, it's more of an aggressive type of acupuncture but I use it a lot in horses uh, performance horses and in animals that have um, intervertebral disc disease or, or arthritis and so how long does an acupuncture session usually last normally I uh, plan to be here at the clinic or out on the farm because I do go out to farms to do horses mm -hmm. planned for like a 45 minute session and that will get you in do the exam get the points hooked up and then plus or minus the electrical unit for a horse um, definitely 45 minutes to an hour and then for the small animals it really just depends on how they respond and how they act in the hospital okay well thank you so much dr You're Warren. Welcome. we're helping cutie pie again yes. um, december uh is our little acupuncture month we're having so there'll be a lot of information on facebook about it and any questions you guys have um just let us know <laughs>